Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to use the Visioneer cipher. Now this cipher is a type of shift cipher where every letter in the plain text is shifted, but each letter is shifted by a different amount. To determine by how much, we need a keyword. Now right below our plain text message, in this case attack at dawn, we're going to place our keyword. I'm going to choose code. So I'm going to start with C, then O, D, and E. Now once you've finish the code you just repeat it until you are uh, done with your entire plain text. So then we skip spaces and we're just going to keep doing this. Now I have an option down here to just put in the keyword so I'll type in code and it should finish it off. Now all the letters of the keyword are converted to their number. So C was 2, O was 14, and D was 3. This was uh, the same from the, the shift cipher. So what happens is each one of these numbers represents a shift. So A will be shifted twice to the right. So if you come over here and we do a shift of, what was it? 2. You can see A should encrypt to C. And A does encrypt to C. Now what about T? T is going to be shifted 14 and we're supposed to get H. So let's go set up a shift of 14. Go we'll find T and it is encrypted to H. Uh, we'll do one more. Uh, T here is shifted three times to the right and we're supposed to get W. So this is a shift of three and T goes to W. And this is how the Visioneer cipher works. Now if you want to decrypt, then you would just go backwards. And we have this decryption down here where I can choose many keywords. I'll place the ciphertext. Now I can choose any keyword. We already know the answer is uh, code, and we get our message attack at dawn. But I can also do other ones in case I don't know it's code. I can try uh, message or password or anything like that. And when I decrypt it, it will give me all of the possible plain text. Notice that none of these worked, but that's because we know it's code. And when we decrypt it, we see that the one that goes with code is actually our plain text message.